<laughs> what is up, YouTube land? We're here! That time of it's year. It's here! 8-Bit Christmas 2023 by RetroUSB. RetroUSB.com. Check it out. www.retrousb.com. Order this. Still available. Uh... So we're gonna we're just gonna watch this for a little bit because I'm sure the gameplay will be like one minute long because it always is. This I'm gonna give it's not my favorite opening screen, but this is really nice. This is really good. This is really nice. I give it an easy eight. Out of I'm gonna say eight. I was thinking eight as well. The only one, the only two that I like better is I believe it was 2011 was um, the fire, like the camp, uh, not the campfire, the the fireplace. That's a good Absolute one. Absolute keto. And probably my num number one of all time is the cabin where the yep. snow falls on it. That's a tag. Right? And as you watch it, the snow accumulates on it. Oh my god. But this this might be number three. This is awesome. Oh, they did custom text this year? Yep. That's awesome. Right? I just thought, yeah, yes. Yeah, so you, you you pay an extra like seven bucks and they I think like the last five years they haven't oh, done so it. Oh, they haven't done it for a while. So, so every year, Spencer, like, always crosses his finger and is just like, are they going to do it this year? Because every year we're just like, this is going to be the last year. They're not doing it this year. And they they opened up pre-orders for this so late. Yeah, Spencer was, like, dooming. I was dooming. But it's here. Christmas so, is saved. So so this is the Mariah Carey song. Uh, so you y'all know it. Let's just go through the songs real quick. And then I think this is... So this is a, this is a good set as well. Um, I prefer the Christmas songs that are much more like light, and this really has it so far. And then I think this is the last one. Oh, God, yes. And you just got. I'm not even the biggest NES fan, but I love the NES soundtrack. This sounds so good. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah. So to go over it real quick, because again, once I start this game up, it's gonna be like two minutes gameplay. Normally, I'm able to put in the order. It's not really even a pre-order. They just put it up on the website, and at that point, you can order it. It's normally right around Black Friday. Uh, our friend Ryan Miller, which really long-time CIB fans will recognize him from usually these ones, the, the 8 Christmas ones, uh, will usually will message around that time of year and be like, did you see it yet? Did you see it yet? Whatever. And it's usually right around Black Friday it's put up. And this time, it was legitimately like... December, I don't know, 4th or 5th or something like that. And and every day after Black Friday, I was like, it's over. I would, ch I would, ch I would check uh, every day or two. Like, I would just be doing something, and I would remember, oh, yeah, the Epic the Christmas card. And it was every time it wasn't available, and I was like, it's over. And I even had Ben, because I don't use Twitter or really know how to do it. I was like, Ben, check at Retro USB and tell me if they have any news on the 8-Bit Christmas card. And they had nothing. And I was like, dude, it's over. But they put it up and they shipped it really quick because they always do. And uh, seriously, you can go on their website right now and buy several years worth of these. I think up to like 2016 or 2017. So let's check the game out. Ooh, Ooh pinball. pinball. Okay. How do I... Oh, it's start. Okay, got it. Not many buttons on the NES controller. <laughs> I know, but it wasn't up, it wasn't down. All right, ball locked. So start pulls it down. This looks really good for yeah. an NES game. Like, obviously, it's not it's not anything super crazy, but the no, but the ball physics oh is God. pretty good. Uh, uh, I, as I say that, <laughs> the flippers are so small. Christmas spin. Up. I see. So, I, I never understand pinball. I literally own a pinball machine, and I still don't quite understand the rules of pinball. Usually for me, it's don't lose, right? Up. Yeah, the, the gap between the, the flippers and the it's flippers bit, themselves. It's, it's a bit too much. They're yeah. so small. But I will say, this is a lot more effort than they end. It's like, from what I can tell, it's literally one dude who's been doing this for like 15 years now. <laughs> I think 2008 was the first one. 2011 was the first one I bought, so I'm still on the hunt for 2008 through 2010. Does Ryan have those? I, I think he has, a, I, I think he doesn't have the first one, but he has like two more than me. I even actually emailed, and I, I might do it again, 
I emailed several years ago, uh, Retro USB, and was like, hey, I know that you guys don't have these, like, listed, but ca can you special make these? Like, I was like, I'll pay whatever you want, and I, I knew it didn't mean anything, but, like, I was like, I'm not a reseller, I just really, really want to own them all. Like, you can, like, personalize it so I can't possibly resell it, like, whatever you want to do, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but they were like, no, what, once it's done, it's done, kind of thing. But now, I did ask several years ago, it used to be that the Christmas cart was available for, like, a month, and then never again. Now, they've left all of them up since, like, 2017, 2018, that you could yeah. order them any time of I year. I mean, <laughs> send an email, there's nothing to lose. Yeah. And maybe, I, like, you can check my account and see, oh my, this guy actually does order this. I always order this and one other game random uh rom hack game they have uh every year uh in fact for 2011 and maybe 2012 i know absolutely for 2011 they made a uh, super nintendo one as yeah. well the super nintendo, nintendo one's still my favorite game yes that game is actually really yeah. well made uh for a for a random rom hack by like one dude but uh, oh one other thing that we didn't mention is these cartridges uh have christmas lights in them so they're clear now, we normally play on, like, a Retron, but Trevor has an, an actual NES setup, so it's a little tougher to see yeah. the lights. You can still see it, like, throughout the, like, the door when it's open. Like, every time... It's not as cool. Every time I, uh... Every time I use the flippers, or every time it hits something, uh... Oh, yeah, you're right. That's so cool. It changes, yeah. It's always been that way. Like, whenever yeah. you do a certain thing, it always changes color, which is just amazing. And not... Uh... And I, I was looking at the card a little bit, uh... The cartridges are so high quality too. Oh, and just I, the, the plastic, and they have this this custom red uh, motherboard. I and think it's like forty five bucks or something like that, yeah. which to me is ridiculously low. I paid the extra like eight bucks to get uh, the custom tabs, yeah. which I will always do. But I always found those cartridges. I mean, they pretty much do the same thing every year. It's a clear plastic with a red. Um, motherboard but it's it just feels so quality yes like when you buy like uh like reproductions from different uh websites i used to do it with like metroid games to have like a bigger like metroid collection and it was such a like uh, hit or miss sort of thing sometimes it'd be like almost as good as retro usb and other times it'd be just a like, complete crap yeah but every they do it like so well yeah, and obviously they make their own cartridges however they do it because it's these are clearly not um, donor cards or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, there's even like a little seal, like the seal of quality, get it? It's like a little literal animal seal. And they say it's a seal of quality. Like, Nintendo, remember? <laughs> remember when Nintendo used to have a seal of quality? It, and it didn't mean much for the NES? It literally meant nothing ever. Yeah, the... Um, I, I remember back in the day, maybe 10 years ago, where the only way you could get certain games made onto reproduction cartridges was sending in certain donor cards. I specifically remember to get FF3, the Japanese FF3 made, you would have to send in a very specific version of it was either Super Mario 2 or Super Mario 3. Because if you look, I think it was 3, if you look at cartridges of Mario 3, some of them have all the pins on the actual pin set, and some of them only have like half of them. And you literally had to, like, send them that cartridge, and then they could put it on. Nowadays, obviously, it's oh, that's good. way, 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 way better. So you can just, like, make any reproduction cartridge. So. All right, I think I've seen enough of the actual game itself. I just want to go back to go back to the, the, the title screen for a sec. Oh, yeah. This is something, like, if you had... I know it sounds about the nerdiest thing ever, but if you had, like, a holiday party or something like that, oh. like, just have... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys will see this, but it's being a little bit weird on the TV. Anyway, but, like, having this on in the background for, like, a little bit. Not, like, hours. But, like, if you have, like, friends over playing games and you're, like, just talking, like, let me put this on in the background. So the time. very early years of uh, CIB, like, 2011, 2012, maybe 2013, we used to literally do that for, like, December. Yeah. we get the new Christmas cartridge and just run it. And because it's, like, an actual game, like, you can just play it. Just and, play it, yeah. and it's also, also ambience for, like, music. Uh, in fact, one of the years was just, like, there was no game. It was just music and ambience and, like, a pedal thing, I think. 
I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah, and uh, I don't do it anymore just because everything's further away from the counter, so I can't like watch it. Yeah. And we're generally busier too, so I do miss that. That was that was a good time. So, all right, guys. I always want to keep these so somewhat short, but just retrousb.com. Go order it. Uh, you can order several years. There's one they made. I think it was 2017 or so, where it's like. The cartridge itself, where the sticker would be, is actually, like, uh, a screen, and it shows different stuff on the screen. It's That one's a more expensive, but it's really cool and really complicated, so. Uh, but I'm happy to say 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This is the 13th year I participated in it, and you can find every single one of these on the channel. Some of them I did as, like... Uh, compilation videos, but if you search 8-Bit Xmas, you'll find them all on the channel. So, thanks for watching, guys. Happy holidays, all that good stuff, and I'm just glad it's here. See you next time. Please, Retro USB, do another one next year. Yes, please, thank you. You're the best.